In this video we're going to look at the Mapbox Vector Tile Streets layer uh, drawn in the Whirlyglobe Maply toolkit. So Maply has added support for vector tiles fairly recently and I've been looking at the various sources for vector tiles, some of them private, some of them public, and in this video we're just going to look at Mapbox's vector tiles. Now if you start at the lower levels of detail you see you've got countries, you've got country names, there's uh, offset uh, pins for names, things like that. And something that I find kind of cool here is uh, if you zoom in on the Caribbean, you see they've offset all those various names, which is kind of a funny thing to do in a vector map, but it does work pretty well. So let's, uh, yeah, if you, and notice if you zoom in a little bit closer, it'll, it'll get rid of those. So let's move over to a more dense example. Let's uh, take a look at Chicago. So you see, as you zoom in, it's pulling in higher levels of detail, replacing those lower level of levels of detail. And uh, this is, you know, about maybe about midway. But as we get higher and uh, closer and closer, we get in higher levels of de de detail until we get down to the buildings. And then there's, there's probably about one more level of detail here. That's level 14. Now that's the highest level they provide, and they basically put everything into level 14. So we've got points of interest. We've got roads lots of buildings, even paths within parks and things like that. So the data in here is, is pretty rich. This is OpenStreetMap data, of course, as, it, as is uh, most of their stuff. Um, and it's, uh, it's pretty good. There's a lot of information about the city. And if you want to see how that matches up to uh, um, satellite imagery, for example, you can just overlay it on a satellite image. And th this particular style is not really well adapted to that, but uh, it does provide a nice reference point. Um, so let's turn that back off. It's mostly what we're interested in, in here are the vector tiles. And again, there's uh, a lot of interesting detail and there's a lot of cool things that are in Maply to support these sorts of vector tiles. Um, for example, those roads are all widened uh, so that uh, they look a little cleaner, they, they look a little nicer around the curves. There are shaders and special textures for things like those uh, uh, railways that we're looking at here. And those also look great for um, things like paths and parks and tunnels. And for example, here it may be a little hard to see on the video, but uh, there was a, a park and a path. Now the labels are in here as well, and Maply's doing the, uh, the layout logic for when it gets a bunch of labels, so it'll just lay them out by priority. So as we zoom out, you can see it gets rid of those higher resolution tiles and replaces them with lower resolution. And I think the, the map box vector tiles are credible for a lot of different uh, levels here. I mean, they're, they're mixing and matching different data sources, I think, to get a, something pretty good. But I, it does look pretty good. So let's go look at another example. We move out to the, the world level here. And then uh, let's see if we can find the UK. I think that's up there. There we go. And let's take a look at London, which is obviously going to be a very dense data set. Now this takes a little bit longer to load in. It's not as fast as Chicago, but it's still pretty credible. So this, there we go. We've got uh, the points of interest, which is usually a sign that you've got everything, and the, the nice dense buildings as well. Now in this example, it's making use of uh, all those shaders. So we've got um, dashed lines for uh, trails. We've got... Uh, uh, those sort of dashed lines for parks and and, uh, and of course the widened vectors for roads as well. And it all combines to look pretty good. And there's a lot of points of interest here as you'd expect for, for London. Now uh, I think the the park areas look particularly nice in, in these data sets. People have gone to a lot of trouble to outline the parks and where the trails are within parks. So it's actually one of the more pleasant areas, particularly within, uh, within major cities. So this is the Maply implementation of, of Mapnik vector tiles. So it's my open source library implementing the uh, Mapnik style vector tiles. And the particular example we're looking at here are the Mapbox Streets vector tiles uh, that come straight from their servers. Uh, for more information, just take a look at my blog.